Hello everyone, today I want to cover FS Realistic Pro's new update releasing tomorrow. If you don't know what that is, it's a standalone app that adds airframe vibrations and sounds to any aircraft you want. Now they have added a walking mode. Through this mode, the camera shakes and adds sounds to every step you take. You move around with the keyboard, WADX, and the scroll wheel to move higher, like going up and down the stairs. And moving the mouse will move the camera around. I'm using both the mouse and head tracking to move. I wanted to make sure head tracking works with this, and it does work fine. It even helps keep the camera level too as you walk around. There is also avatar choices with the usual options we see for the flight deck. This view can be turned on or off. The only thing is that the avatar is just a body with arms out. But if you can get the camera angle high enough, it hides those things and looks actually okay when you move around. I would rather it be a moving torso where you see the body and the arms, legs, and all that moving while you walk around. But a camera view like this behind the avatar would also be a good option. The sounds change depending on the surface you're walking on too. If you run, you'll hear faster foot movement and out of breath noises. It also picks up the surface you're walking on. The anti-aliasing is a little more jagged in this mode, so TAA is recommended when using this. Now with the current state of this mode, it will not be replacing my preferred method of walking in the sim, which is using the showcase camera mode when presenting content. For example, I was trying to walk around the Getty Museum. With the FPS realistic walk mode, I kept falling through the model and could not walk forward without sinking. No matter how much I corrected for it with the mouse wheel, it would always go back down into the model. But with Showcase, I can smoothly control movements while walking and navigating the grounds. I just zoom in to about 60-ish and set the drone speed to about 3. From there, you can simulate walking pretty well. But it's missing those FS realistic step sounds and movement, and that's the real dilemma. I love what this is doing with the sound and shake while walking, it really does simulate that well. I just don't like the basicness of the avatar and the downgrade in anti-aliasing. I'm also addicted to using a controller to manipulate the camera now. Analog sticks and triggers, nothing beats that for me after using keyboard and mouse for years to control the camera. I think avatars might need to go in the direction of being a vehicle with FS Realistic picking it up with the sounds and camera movement. Because imagine flying somewhere with friends to look at something, right? Everyone could land and then spawn in as humans and then walk around, you can point flashlights, I mean whatever, but you would in theory be able to see each other and this would also go well with you know that the, all the latest GA camping stuff that's coming out, tons of situations. It's nice that this app can seamlessly snap from plane to avatar mode, but like I said, I think we're going to need to spawn in as avatars to really make this work. But I'm glad FS Realistic is shining light on this aspect because it has not been fully explored in Microsoft Flight Simulator yet. And remember, this is just a tiny, tiny aspect of what FS Realistic does overall. It's generous of them to delve into this through an update, but while I think certain aspects of this fall short to what we need avatars to be, we cannot put this all on FS Realistic to be the only solution to avatar walking. They already offer a great app that I use for all my flights now because of what it adds to the flight deck immersion. So if you want to see what it can do, I'll leave a link in the description.